Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 18th of July 1925, the first volume of Adolf Hitler's rambling racist manifesto Mein Kampf, which translates as My Struggle or My Battle, was first published. Dictated to his assistant Rudolf Hess, whilst imprisoned in the surprisingly luxurious conditions of Landsberg Prison, Mein Kampf laid out the blueprint for Hitler's future plans for Germany, although when it was first published it gained little attention outside the ranks of the nationalist socialist faithful. In 1923, Hitler had launched an attempted coup to seize power in Munich in Bavaria. Known as the Beer Hall Putsch, it ended in disaster for the Nazis when Hitler was arrested along with other party leaders and charged with treason. Having been found guilty after a widely publicised 24-day trial, Hitler was sent to Landsberg Prison, a nationally recognised figure. Imprisonment gave Hitler time to reflect on the future direction of the Nazi Party and to dictate Mein Kampf to Hess. It was in this book that Hitler clearly stated his anti-Semitic views and attempted to justify his hatred. He also outlined his intentions for a future Germany, including the destruction of the parliamentary system and his first reference to aggressive eastward expansion in order to gain Lebensraum at the expense of Russia. Despite its initially poor reception, Mein Kampf became a popular book with hundreds of thousands of copies sold each year after Hitler became Chancellor of Germany in 1933, even though, after becoming leader, he increasingly distanced himself from it. Winston Churchill believed that, if world leaders at the time had read it, they could have anticipated the full scale of Nazi domestic and foreign policy. (music) 